Hello, beloved of Living Word. It's Elder Les. And today I want to follow up on my devotion on having an attitude of gratitude. And as I stated before, in First Corinth in, in First Thessalonians chapter five, verse eighteen, starts by saying, In everything give thanks. This uh we are our gratefulness is not circumstantial. That is, it is not based on a what have you done for me lately mentality. It stems from uh, already knowing and having a mindfulness that we already have the victory in Jesus, as it says in First uh, Corinthians, verse 50, 50, uh, chapter 15, verse 57, states that we already have victory in Jesus. So from that standpoint, we can always be grateful. And each of us, each day, has at least three things to be thankful for. Number one, we're alive. Number two, that we have salvation through Jesus. And number three, that we can ho have put our hope in God and in His Word, in the promises in His Word. Now, each of, each of us has specific testimonies that we can add to that list. But this practice of being grateful and giving thanks not just to God, but to every person in our life who helps us and supports us every day is part of the abundant life that Jesus came to give us and is evidenced by the doctors and the uh, psychologists in the secular wor world if you Google benefits of gratitude. Now, I just want to say thank you for listening. I really appreciate you. And let us all worship God with an attitude of gratitude and acts of thanksgiving. Have a blessed day. In Jesus' name, amen.